This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we're going to show you how to make your very own fabric covered window cornice, or sometimes called a valance box. Let's get started and show you how to cover a cornice box with an upholstery fabric purchased from Sailrite. We've constructed our valance box to the appropriate length out of pine lumber and then nailed end pieces on the end that are approximately 6 inches. Our valance box is 85 inches in length and 6 inches for the end pieces, so that makes a total of 97 inches and we're using a striped fabric, so we need to adhere two striped panels together because this fabric is 54 inches in width. We're using double-sided tape to base the panels together. That way the panels do not move when we take it to the sewing machine and sew. Peel off the transfer paper, revealing the glue, and baste. Since this fabric has a pattern to it, we have to be careful to line up the stripes so that when we sew these two panels together, the stripes are consistent. This double-sided tape available from Sailrite is a non-yellowing double-sided tape. It's called Seamstick for Canvas. Now that the two panels are basted together, we'll fold the material so it makes it easier for sewing. Take it to the sewing machine and we're going to use the deluxe magnetic guide here to guide our stitch. This helps keep the stitch very straight indeed. When the panels are sewn together, we can unfold them and inspect our work. Notice the consistency of the pattern. An optional step here is to place a top stitch here. This would traditionally be called a semi-flat filled seam. Using a polyester batting material available from Sailrite, we'll cut at the width of our box plus about 8 inches. The length of this batting should be the length of the box plus the two end pieces plus a little extra. Next, we'll spray the box with a 3M Super 77 spray adhesive, available from Sailrite. This will make the polyester batting stick to the box. Now we'll unroll the polyester batting that we cut to size and simply place the box on top of the polyester batting, being sure that it's centered and also there's at least 4 inches of batting on the top and the bottom side of the box. Using a standard stapling gun, we're going to staple the polyester around the perimeter of the box. At the end, we'll trim the polyester batting so it's flush. Now we'll cut the fabric to the appropriate length and width so that there's at least 4 inches around the entire perimeter so it can be folded over the edges and stapled. Another optional step here is to create a single hem before you staple it in place. This is definitely a little bit more tedious of a job to create that single hem and is probably not required, though it does give a little bit more of a finished look on the underside which is typically not viewed by anyone. We started stapling in the center and it stapled a few staples on one side and then worked to the opposite side pulling the fabric rather taut. No need to pull the fabric super tight, you just want to pull it tight enough to take out any wrinkles. Notice also that we have placed marks on the board. This helps to ensure that the fabric lines are staying straight as we staple it to the length of the board. Here at the ends we'll create a few little folds and we'll staple the fabric in place on the end pieces as well. If there's too much fabric you can cut away the excess which sometimes makes it easier to pattern the fabric around the edges. When the box was created, a hanger was affixed to the end piece at the top. A slit will be made in the fabric to allow the hanger to exit the fabric and the polyester batting material. There's no need to be extremely accurate in folding the fabric over the end piece. However, if you want it precisely done, spend a little bit more time than Brian is doing here. Even though Brian didn't spend a lot of time doing it, it still came out beautiful. This fabric covered window cornice was not designed for our warehouse, but we have no place else to hang it in which to get a video, so here it is in our warehouse over a window. This fabric covered window cornice hangs in my home in Indiana. Be sure to visit Sailrite's website for hundreds of fabrics that are wonderful for window treatments and more. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.